What's up guys? It's your girl Phoenix Novell and thank you for tuning in to another Boss Bitch Tips episode. Now, I just want to show you. I don't know if you could see. Excuse me, I had the belch. This is my evening snack. I still haven't had dinner yet, but this is my evening snack and it is a bowl of raspberries. Like, I seriously have a fruit fetish. Don't drink, don't smoke, I'm a healthy chick. I like a brother getting money, kind of wealthy shit. Don't want a dummy looking bummy or a beta bitch. I need a honey who won't love and give me crazy dick. All I do is think about the bag. All I do is dream about the cash. Two steps to the motherfucking side as I glide past. If you ain't reaching for the sky, then you ride last. I'm ready for the limelight. My hands rock steady because the time's right. Billy Bone Betty, I'm the boss type. Looking for the heavy kind of king like. I'ma get it how I get it till my heart stop. Get it how I live it till the mic drop. Hustle for the winner when I do. It's your girl, Phoenix Nobel, and thank you for tuning in to another Boss Bitch Tips episode. This episode is entitled, When They Want Kids and You Don't. Let's get into it. Raspberries. Oh, so good. Mm. All right. It can be hard as hell. It can be hard as hell to deal with that. I knew when I was very, very young that I did not want to have kids, like physically pushing something out of me. It just, it, you know, and I know women who are the exact opposite. The very idea of childbirth makes them perk up. The idea of giving life to something and bringing something to the world and being pregnant and that glow makes them so excited and it did the absolute opposite, absolute opposite to me. Like my body having this thing growing inside of it and just controlling my every move and deciding that it liked this food and didn't like that food and making me throw, like all of those things. Cause I, look, I, I'm a control freak. So just the idea of something controlling me makes me immediately go into defense mode. So I knew from a very, very young age that I did not want to actually give birth. Now I have dated guys who have kids. I'm not opposed. You know, I'm not opposed to dating a guy who already has kids. It's just, you know, it matters the, their age. It matters, you know, their, their dynamic and how they are with them. It matters. Um, if I'm serious with this guy or not. So I take a lot of things into consideration when I do date a guy who has kids, but I knew that I did not want kids. And um, I think it's really hard, you know, it's really hard to have that conversation when you're dating somebody because you don't know where it's gonna go. Like you don't know if things are gonna get so serious. You don't know if you're gonna fall in love with this person. You don't know if they're gonna just knock you off your damn feet. And one of the hardest things for me that happens is when you're in a relationship, sometimes your partner makes you, changes you. You know, not like they were trying to, but they, I'd say for instance, if you're with a guy who you really respect, who treats you like a queen, there may be a chance of you wanting to have his baby. And this has happened to me before, where it's like I saw myself married to this person. You know, I saw myself actually being with this guy and he didn't have any kids. I mean, we wanted kids, but he never pressured me or tried to make me feel like I had to have them. But because of the way he treated me and because of how great we were together, I saw a different side of myself. And it was a little tricky because I didn't know, like, look, things happen. What if we were to break up or God forbid something happens to him and he's no longer in my life or whatever. And then I, I had this child. Would I resent the child now that he was no longer around? Now that we no longer worked out, like would, would I change back into who I've always been because he's no longer in my life like that and now I'm a baby mama rather than a wife, you know? Like all these thoughts would pop up in my mind when I would feel this, this sensation of wanting to start this family and possibly, you know, have a baby with this person. I did not want to have a baby because I was in this relationship with somebody. I thought that that was all. That's all. I mean, I, I understand again, 
two people getting together that creates a completely different dynamic that creates us it's you and me creating us however i didn't want to go back to or resent this child that i was so gung-ho of having because we were together now that we're no longer together like that was a fear of mine when i start feeling this way and so you know i had to deal with that and i had to be honest with myself and say okay i don't want that and it's hard because you may want the relationship you may want to be with this person you may just want things to stay the way they are you know this is this is not just i mean this is for men and women you know some 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 men don't want children some women don't want children and it's the you know it flips maybe maybe you did and now you don't and sometimes it's hard because love doesn't conquer all in that sense you know what i'm saying you don't just say well let's just try it out because some people have a time schedule that they want to have kids and some people feel like i don't want to waste my time with you if this isn't something that you want to do with me if this isn't somewhere you see yourself going if this isn't what you want because i don't want to feel like i'm responsible for making you something otherwise you would not want sorry guys my nose runs every now and again when i have makeup on i don't get it i don't understand raspberry time so it's a hard thing to deal with. Do you stick it out and just kind of like see where things go? If it's meant to be, it'll happen. If it's not, it won't. I do. What's the dynamic there? And that's a hard thing to deal with. In this scenario, I always choose myself first because I don't want to resent anybody. I don't want to question my values. I don't want to wake up one day being somebody who I never knew that I was. And I don't want to bring a child into this world that I only wanted because I was in a relationship with somebody who made me feel like motherhood is something that I should do because I can, because I'm a woman and because it's what they wanted. And this is a hard kind of, this is a, this is a very, very serious conversation because there are people right now who are in that situation, you know, right now dealing with that and, you know, just kind of like don't want to give up the relationship that they have because it's hard to find real love, but also they don't really want kids. They don't really want to be a parent. They don't really want the responsibility of bringing a child into this world. For whatever reason, you don't have to have a baby just because you can but a lot of men especially men who have who don't have kids already they want you to have their child you know what i'm saying they want you to want to have their child and it's a hard conversation to have because you'll know that they want it but they don't want to lose you or they don't want to let you go especially if there's not somebody else you know Right, right around the corner who's willing to have their baby and give them what you want. Listen, my uncle, he was in love with this woman. He was with her for a long time. She already had a child. She didn't want another one. And she, they weren't married. He and my uncle was not married to this woman, but he was with her for so long. And he wanted a baby. He, he did not have a kid. He wanted a kid. She didn't want one. She was a working woman. She already had a child. And she was really adamant about not getting pregnant. I don't know if it was... She never wanted one again, or just she didn't want his, or if it was a situation where she just didn't want another one right now, you know, whatever it was, she didn't want, she did not want to have a kid with him, okay? She didn't want to have a kid or another one, and he took it personal. He got vindictive, you know, and it got to a point where he went out there and was just like, you know what, well, if you won't have my kid, I'll find somebody who will, and this is another risk you take with a partner who doesn't have a child yet you know if there's no child in the situation between either one of you it creates even more of a of contention sometimes because maybe they're taking care of your child like it's theirs or maybe they are um getting to a point where they have that feeling of I have to do, do this now and your child isn't enough for them to feel fulfilled. Whatever it is, they're going through this thing and sometimes it's not okay for them to just say, well, 
I can deal with the fact that you don't want my child. Sometimes it's a really big deal for them. And they'll go out and they'll like, they'll leave the relationship and they'll go to find somebody who will give them a child. Sometimes regardless of whether or not they're in love with that person, you know? So this is a situation that a lot of people have to deal with. This, this is a situation that a lot of people go through where they are forced to decide whether or not a relationship is strong enough Okay, a little noise in the background, but they're forced to decide or forced to face whether or not our relationship is strong enough to stand on just the love and not be conditional based on what you're willing to do for that person. But a lot of times it just doesn't work that way. Or say, for instance, even if, you know, the partner is not able to have kids, maybe they tried and they can't. I don't know if that person who wants kids is willing to stick it out with them. You know, I don't know, but sometimes they're not, sometimes they are. Sometimes it's a different dynamic because, hey, you would if you could, but you can't, and that's the only reason. But sometimes it's like, look, I don't want one and you do. So you're gonna have to, if you're gonna be with me, you have to accept that. Then they say, well, if you really love me, you would at least give me what I want because it'll only bring us closer. So you have these, these, these diametrically opposed views and usually it creates this grandiose divide between two people who otherwise really want to be together so it's a very tricky situation again with me like I said I wasn't so opposed to a person bringing kids into the relationship because I knew I wasn't gonna have any and I don't want any going going forward and I don't want to be in a situation where I feel like I could possibly change what I want because you don't have kids and this is what I mean it sometimes it's not them pressuring you it's just you feeling like I want it now because I want to have this completed house with you, like it, mentally, because of us. And I don't want to get sucked into that or I don't want to become a victim of that mindset. And then again, if it doesn't happen because not everything lasts forever, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to then look at the child like, I really didn't want you, but I was so in love with your daddy that he convinced me that it was a great idea. I don't want to ever feel that way. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to. And if I did ever decide to have a child, I want it to be because of me. I want to have a baby. I want to experience pregnancy. I want to bring something into this world. I could care less about what happens to us. Of course, I want to bring a child in this world with love if I do decide to. My pain. But I want to go in it knowing that I did it because of me and that's just who I am. I did it my way. And if you happen to be a part of that, great. But I don't want to ever do something because I thought that the relationship called for it when it comes to something so serious and so um, um, non-reversible as a child being brought into the situation. So that's my take on it. You know, it's, it's, it's a hard situation, but I would advise anybody who doesn't want to have kids, not to have kids just because their partner wants them to have their child, just because they think the relationship would be stronger or, you know, more fulfilled if there was a child involved. I don't know. Some people don't want kids at all. They don't even want a partner who has kids. I don't put those, you know, walls up. I fall in love with who I fall in love with. And depending on the situation, like I said, if if they have a great relationship with their kids, you know, the dynamics, everything plays a part before I open my heart to somebody, period, point blank. But once it is open, I'm not gonna say, oh my God, sorry, you got a kid. No, no, I'm gonna say, okay, well, you know, I will, I will meet the kid when I feel comfortable to meet the kid. That's my, that's where I draw the line. You're not gonna push your child on me or make me feel like I have to meet them right now because, or else. No, I'm gonna meet them when I feel compelled to meet them, but I'm not gonna turn a guy away because he has a child because it's just not, I don't mind being a, a stepmom, you know what I'm saying? What I, what I do say to everybody who I get serious with is that I am not looking to get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I am not looking to have your child. I'm not looking to be, to give birth. It's just not something that I want to do. And if this is what you want with me, and those are like the, you know, that's the breaking point, then you might as well just go somewhere else and it's fine. That's just who I am. I, I like to live 
real and transparent and not give you the impression impression that this is going to be something that it might not be. I found that to be the best for me. So hopefully this video helps anybody who's having these issues, having these thoughts or dealing with this. You know, again, relationships can change you. It can actually change. It can absolutely change your mind. But this such a serious conversation, such a serious commitment needs to be one that you are at the forefront of and OK with regardless of what your relationship status is with the partner who, who you're thinking of having this child with. You need to want to do this. You need to want to be a parent. You need to want to give birth. You need to want to bring a life into this world because regardless of what happens, you are going to be that child's parent and you want to be a damn good one. And knowing that you don't want to have a child if you are like me is not a good way to bring a child into the world, you know, because you may resent yourself, you may resent them, you may resent the person who, you know, and I mean, the complications that can happen in childbirth alone, let alone all the things that a human being has to deal with on this planet, if you're not going into this thing, knowing that and still wanting to bring life into this, into this place, then you're already starting off wrong. Okay, so that's just my little two cent, all right, and my raspberries. And hopefully this video helps anybody out there who is going through this or dealing with this in some way, somehow. If you have any questions or topics or ideas or just want to shout a sister out, email me at asktheboss at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-T-H-E-B-A-W-S-E. -S -E. I spell boss, B-A-W-S-E. A shout out and an ode to Lily Singh. That's my girl, y'all. All right. Um, yeah. And until the next video, I'll be eating my raspberries. I'm peace.